in the previous video we studied in detail all concepts related to control accounts let us apply those concepts and try to solve an example which could also make it easy for you to answer the questions in exam so we have some transactions of a business for the month of january along with opening and closing balances using this information let us prepare a sales ledger control account and a purchase ledger control account before going ahead with preparing control accounts let us analyze all the transactions first to determine which transaction would appear in a sales ledger control account or purchase ledger control account or both the opening debit and credit balances of sales ledger will be recorded in the sales ledger control account and the opening balances of purchase ledger will be recorded in the purchase ledger control account then we have some transactions and we need to decide which ones will be recorded in which type of control account if a transaction or an entry affects any debtor account then it shall be recorded in the sales ledger control account whereas if an entry affects the creditor it will be recorded in the purchase ledger control account so starting with the first transaction credit sales a credit sales is entered in the debtor's account in the sales ledger hence will be recorded in the sales ledger control account then cash sales a cash sales entry is recorded in the cash book and in the sales account in the general ledger since it is not recorded in any of the accounts of the sales ledger it will be ignored and not recorded in the control account the examiner could confuse you by giving transactions that do not impact any account in the sales ledger or purchase ledger so such transactions have to be ignored when preparing control accounts credit purchases are made from creditors hence will be recorded in the purchase ledger control account cash purchases will also be ignored since it is recorded in the cash book and the general ledger sales returns are goods returned by debtors so sales ledger control account purchase returns are goods returned to creditors so purchase ledger control account discounts are always allowed to debtors so will be recorded in the sales ledger control account discounts are always received from creditors hence recorded in the purchase ledger control account checks or cash collected from debtors will appear in the sales ledger control account and checks or cash paid to creditors will appear in the purchase ledger control account bad debts are amounts not received from debtors so the balance due have to be written off from the accounts of debtors in the sales ledger hence will be recorded in the sales ledger control account check received from debtors may be reported as dishonored by the bank a dishonor entry is recorded in the debtor account in the sales ledger and in the cash book hence will be recorded in the sales ledger control account closing balances of the ledgers will be recorded in the respective ledger control accounts let us start preparing the sales ledger control account though we have decided which transactions will appear in which type of control account students do find it confusing to record transactions on the correct side just follow simple rule sales ledger control account is prepared for debtors and debtors have a debit balance any transaction that will increase the debit balance or increase the amount receivable from the debtor will be debited in the sales ledger control account and any transaction reducing the balance in the debtors account will be credited in the sales ledger control account so let's start recording let us first bring down the opening balances debit balance will be brought down on the debit side and credit balance will be brought down on the credit side then we have a credit sales sales increases the amount due from customers hence will be debited in the control account sales returns have an opposite effect on debtors account so will be recorded on the credit side discounts allowed to customers will reduce the amount receivable from them hence credited to sales ledger control account checks or cash received from customers will also reduce their account balance hence will be recorded on the credit of sales ledger control account bad debts are unrecoverable amounts hence debtors balance have to be reduced so credited to sales ledger control account when checks are received debtors are credited but when checks are dishonored amount is again receivable hence debtors accounts are debited so recorded on the debit side of sales ledger control account closing credit balance is given so let us record that in the control account at this point students tend to make a mistake by recording this on the credit side an account having a credit balance the balance will be carried forward in such an account on the debit side if you remember from the video on ledgers so on the debit side balance carried down now let's calculate the closing debit balance in the sales ledger control account taking the total on the debit and balancing the account we get a balance carried down of dollars 2970 if the total of all debit balances in the sales ledger was given we could compare and check if the two amounts are matching in the same way let us also prepare a purchase ledger control account purchase ledger contains all the creditors account and creditors usually have a credit balance so any transaction increasing the amount payable to creditors 
will be credited in the purchase ledger control account and any amount decreasing the amount payable will be debited in the control account. Recording the opening balances on the relevant side, credit purchases from creditors will increase the amount payable, hence recorded on the credit side. In contrast, purchase returns would be recorded on the debit side. Discounts received from creditors will reduce the liability to creditors, hence recorded on the debit side of purchase ledger control account. Similarly, when creditors dues are settled, their accounts are debited, so again recorded on the debit side of purchase ledger control account. Closing debit balance could be recorded on the credit side as balance carried down. Now let us calculate the credit balance in the purchase ledger control account, taking the total on the credit side. We get a balance carried down of $900. So I hope this video, when watched along with the previous video on control accounts, will clear all your doubts related to this topic. If you think that the video is useful, please like the video and share it with others. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive notifications when more videos will be uploaded. If you have any feedback regarding the video or you have any doubt regarding this topic, please comment below the video or you may WhatsApp me or email me on the details mentioned.